Hey, g'day, and welcome back to another episode of uh, Surviving Mars. Uh, thank you once again to Paradox Interactive for this uh, uh, press release uh, key um, prior to the to the launch in a couple of days now. So super excited. Okay, so in the last episode, we literally sort of set up the start of the game, and we just finished with landing our first uh, spacecraft on Mars. So in this game, or in this session, um, we're going to start setting up our early base in preparation for our first dome. So starting to get our sustainable colony with uh, water, fuel, um, power, oxygen in preparation for dropping the dome. So sit back, grab a drink, relax, and uh, let's get into it. Don't forget to hit the likes and hit the subscribe if you'd like to see more of uh, Surviving Mars or other episodes I do. <music> first thing I would recommend you doing is actually building some sort of power supply um, and then also getting the power to start creating concrete. So with power, um, the first one is actually going to be your large solar panels because the large solar panels only use metal and the metal you're obviously getting off the surface of, of Mars itself. With your concrete, your concrete actually creates dust. So you wanna try and keep some of your things away from the concrete because obviously the more dust that actually comes out, then the more um, servicing you need to do of your equipment, which means your drones are spending time servicing uh, rather than working and doing other things for you. Um, but let's uh, create ourselves a little bit of a, uh, a solar area. Um, hold the shift key for, for PC and you can place multiple items. Um, press the middle mouse button and you can rotate. And there we go, there's a little um, uh, solar farm. Pressing B again, you can get your power cables and that will actually run the power supply uh, from your first lot of now if you want to up the priority, so these guys are actually sort of just building at the moment. Uh, if you want to up the priority um, to do that, what you need to do is click on the item itself and then on the left hand side you've got a priority change. Um, by clicking one of these but leaving the others to two, you'll find that they will prioritise to start building that one. Let's speed it up. So the things that we want to build to start off with is we want to build a drone hub. Now the drone hub, we grabbed one in the prefab. Um, this will allow us to have a permanent uh, drone base. Now if we remember from our, um, uh, in starting the game, our drone hub no longer needs power no long and no longer needs maintenance. So we can drop this very quickly, it's a prefab. And I want to drop it so it's covering the concrete area over here, but also it's covering where we're going to do moon, uh, where we're actually going to do Mars landings. Um, plus, we also want to cover it where we're going to put the um, the actual first dome. And I think this is a good location. It covers both waters. It covers two concretes, and it covers where we're actually going to um, land our our rockets. So let's drop it down. As I said, the only thing that's a little bit disappointing with this area is I've got some dead ground that I cannot use. So this area here and this area here, but it's okay. Next thing we want to look at is working on our concrete. So press B again, um, go down to production and we'll see a con concrete extractor. So rotate it using the metal button and the white area is where it actually wants to um, extract concrete. Now, I don't know at the moment whether the concrete is um, let's say the bulk of the concrete is over the mark um, and the lesser of the concrete is on the outside. Um, but what I will do is I will build it like so. Um, so it's just the white area or where it's gonna extract the concrete is over the center most of the, uh, uh, the yellow concrete area. So click that. They will start building it, but it will not get power until we actually run, run power to these areas. Um, so they will slowly start collecting that one. We want to run our power 
like so. It would be nice to get rid of that, uh, that last one, which they will very quickly. With your rovers, they do need to be charged. You can see this one is down to green, but you can see this one is actually starting to run purple. So by placing them on top, they will actually recharge. Um, so it's a neat little way to actually recharge your, your rovers. We're gonna build a, just a little bit more. And the next thing we wanna do is start storing our power. So through your power accumulator to start off with, and it takes three concrete and two poly. So the, re scanned. the reason Anomaly I didn't build found. it to start off with is I didn't have the concrete. The concrete comes through um, obviously making your, your concrete extractor. Um, but once this is completed, it will actually start running concrete. The concrete will be stored in the depot. Yeah. So the next thing that we're gonna start doing is, is start collecting water. We've got power, although it's an early stage of power. The next thing we're gonna do is actually start our, um, our water. So we'll start with this one here. Um, with the water extractors, we've got two choices. We can actually drop the extractor on there, which we... Anomaly analyzed. Uh, which we have. So this one here, so this anomaly actually gave us a new tech. So let's just slow it down a fraction. Let's have a look at that. And it's now opened up two more techs. So in this case here, decommissioning. So it allows you to salvage and destroy buildings, uh, which is nice. So what happens is when you shut down a building now, it just leaves the building intact, getting a bit old and, and orange and gray. Next thing we've got is more applicants will start on, on Earth. So they're two nice ones. Um, let's go back to the water. So to start the water, we've got a couple of options. We've got the extractor or the vaporizer that we brought from Earth. So this is a prefabricated building that will allow us to extract water um, without actually finding water on Mars. Now in this case here, we have found water. Um, so I don't need to use that for this dome. You may find there's another dome that doesn't have the luxury of water. And um, that's where we may use it. But in this case here, we're just gonna use the extractor. Um, and we're gonna drop the extractor uh, on top. Remembering we wanna put the, um, the dome in this area here. So this thing's gonna be very close to the um, So, But we're gonna drop this here. And what we do need to do is we need to run some power in that as well. So let's go back to our power and run our power lines. Like so. Uh, but producing water, there's a couple of things that will produce water. Obviously the dome and food and that um, require the, uh, the water. Um, so water is, the, is sort of the rare resource or the life support. But then it will actually produce things such as your oxygen um, and fuel that you'll need with your, your water itself. So with water, you've got your pipes. The pipes, a single pipe carries both oxygen and water, um, as it says in the top right-hand corner um, and connected to the building. So we're actually gonna run them on the same lines. And I've found this to actually be handy um, when you've been building uh, other components. So in this case here, we're gonna bring that down to about here. And the moxie is what you actually create um, uh, for your oxygen. So um, we're gonna drop, rotate it. So in this case here, you can see that we can drop the moxie there and that will actually both give it power as well as uh, oxygen. I have found sort of two moxies have been sufficient in the early game to have a sustainable um, dome. Um, and obviously you just need to keep on monitoring. Keep on monitoring your oxygen surplus and your water surplus to see if you need to increase and decrease. So the same thing is you need to have, uh, make sure you put storage and the storage is actually done through your oxygen tanks, um, which once again have metal as well. So this is 
if by clicking on it you can see what it needs oh, before you deploy it you can see what it needs for maintenance and that's the important ones as well things that require maintenance in regards to metal your metal you're getting from the planet things that require maintenance um, such as here such as mechanical or sorry machine parts um, until you're generating machine parts um, you you would need to bring those machine parts from earth so definitely look at the right hand corner um, to make sure you have enough polymers enough electronics and enough machine parts um, to continue to look after your uh, your requirements in this case here your solar panels also just require metals and that was the reason I started on on solar power as we're building more things we're going to start chewing through more uh, more power um, we've got our um, batteries at the moment we can see our power surplus it's not we're producing 20 demands we're storing power 33 so you're going to see these slowly increase um, but we're going to just build a few more little solar panels now um, just to make sure that we've got plenty of power stored the next power source we want to actually have a look at is your, your wind turbine so exactly the same Let's uh, build ourselves. Research complete. Actually, not liking that one. Just um, and let's drop ourselves some. Um, some different types so we've got a few polymers and these actually use sorry they use machines but obviously the wind turbines you're actually going to be able to get uh, both day and night cycles um, clicking on it um, on the right hand side as you can see there I only get a 9% ever uh, elevation boost if I was to scroll around and let's say go up on top of this hill um, you can see I can get a 44% elevation boost um, or in here 52 um, when I'm building domes up on this top half so uh, it does make a big difference um, Sector so, scan. so just keep that in uh, mind uh, when you're actually using your uh, your turbines uh, so in this case here um, we're just going to place a couple here get those uh, those going a nice little power farm now I notice we uh, had a sector scan so you need to also just remember so I've got two backed up there or in queue you just want to make sure that you keep on putting those through so they keep on uh, scanning the sectors that are around you Now we're producing water, but the same thing here, it doesn't actually, this isn't saying that it's broken, it's just saying that no one is, nothing's consuming the water. Um, I thought the moxies would a bit, but they're not. Um, so, but what, what we wanna do is make sure that we've got storage, and that's probably one of the things that I did forget. Um, so let's throw the water tower in there, and that will actually just store. Um, once again, water towers don't need, um, they don't need, Power. They just need to be hooked up to the actual um, the pipeline. I haven't at this stage found out how I can deconstruct um, the power lines, um, power and actually uh, the water lines. So we have we've got concrete being manufactured. We've got a little bit of concrete. We've got metals that we've collected. Um, we've got power surplus that's being in there. We've got oxygen and surplus, and we've got water. Um, we're ready to place down our first dome. Do the dome. 
And as we said, we want to place it here, or certainly in this area, where we can try and get both of these metals extracted. So this one was 884 and this one was 786, average and very high. So it means I want this one as the priority. I would like that one as the priority, and if I can, do that and I think it does mean that I, I collect both of them so let's drop our dome down everything's in range obviously the drones can actually receive that the rockets are in range um, and they will start as you can see start building the dome so we need to actually bring the oxygen supply um, done through your pipes same thing It's looking a little bit crowded here, a little bit messy, but that's all right. Next thing we want to do is actually produce our uh, power, to get our power there. And we can do two things, is we can actually piggyback off of a service we've got. Um, in this case here, I'm just going to run the power. The power actually goes to a different slot. Um, uh, So, um, so the power, we've got power and oxygen now going into the actual dome itself when it's actually built. One thing that I have forgotten is every time you build something, there is a byproduct, and the byproduct is waste rocks. So what you do need to do in your storage in your depots, um, you've actually got a dumping site. So by pressing shift here, I'm actually going to be able to create... Um, just a collection of rock dumping sites. So you can just build a, a bit, bit of an eyesore, I know, um, but it just means now that I've got an area where all the waste rocks, both from here, is they leveling the ground here, and around here you can see you've got the, uh, the waste rocks. Let's get ourselves our next rocket. So the next rocket, we're actually gonna bring in things such as uh, uh, as we've said before, we're going to start bringing in fuel um, because we cannot send this rocket home at the moment. The next thing we're also going to bring in is a transport ship. I tend, Research complete. I tend to bring in two supply rockets, then after the second supply rocket, I, I'm ready, or almost ready, um, to uh, bring in my first lot of uh, founders. So let's grab the rocket. Another cargo rocket for the prefabs, as we said. Um, we want fuel this time round. Um, I'm happy not to have any of the factories. Um, if I've got room, I definitely will. Um, may do a polymer, actually. Water and fuel. Let's do a polymer. Um, we want transport. We didn't get a transport last time. Um, Sorry, pre -farm. Another drone hub. Um, now we want to then fill it up. So we want to bring maybe a few more drones. I find having drones super handy. Um, and let's fill the rest up full of supplies. Machine parts is a, because we're going to potentially build a, um, uh, a polymer factory. Um, and electronics. Okay, happy with that. I do find machine parts are probably the ones that you use at the beginning. Most of your outside requires machine parts. Uh, remembering obviously our wind turbines require machine parts as well. Uh, drones, RC transport, the transport will allow you to transport uh, supplies. For instance, that remote depot that I put uh, north of my, or in the top half of my map, um, I can now get that. Um, prefab buildings, we've brought in another drone hub, uh, a fuel refinery so we can start producing fuel to send the rockets back home, and the polymer factory as we start to go into our first phase of industri industrialization. Let's launch that one. All right, welcome back to Surviving Mars, and we've got the Pegasus One is now 
in orbit. So um, you can leave them in orbit as long as you want. You don't need to bring them down. So let's say you're having a, a meteorite strike or something like that, you can leave them there. However, when you start getting um, passengers coming, you have a limited time to leave them in orbit. I think it's oh, it's 100 and something days, 120 days, 116 days, um, or hours, Sector I should say, scan. not days, 116 hours um, before you need to bring them down or they'll die in uh, orbit. So let's uh, grab the, uh, the Pegasus one um, and let's uh, land them over here. Um, just uh, a little bit out of the way of this rocket, but more importantly, all within inside. Um, we've just scanned another sector, and what we've got is we've got a first rare resource. So in this case here, it's average 545. Not a bad one. I would mine it. It needs to be done by humans. Um, so which means you need to have a dome within the range uh, for it to uh, actually s extract. Here comes the Pegasus 1. Look at all that dust. So as you can see, you land them, they're going to sort of flick the dust up. They do have a decent range on them themselves, um, but what you want to make sure it's within the, the robot range, uh, so the robots can actually, uh, they can actually pick up uh, those supplies. So here we go now, uh, robots itself, in this case here, once they stop being used by the ship, as I said, they will reassign. We've got down the bottom 22 um, uh, drones, uh, droids, or what do we want to say, robots, drones. Um, and they will be spaced out between the drone hub that can take up to a maximum of 20, um, and also the other unit, um, which was the RC Explorer, um, not the RC Explorer, the RC Rover, which can take a ma maximum of eight uh, drones. We also got ourselves a new uh, component, which is the RC uh, the remote control transport, and you can rename all these. And where I use this is, as I said, we had this out here collecting the metals, and they've collected the metals and they've thrown it all in the depot. So this can actually head home. Milestone achieved. Uh, there we go, milestones. You can check your milestones obviously by down here. And we just haven't launched a, um, a rocket back. So with the transport, you can now go collect, um, collect those su supplies. So by doing this, it would create a transport route. Click on it, tell it that you wanna collect metals, and then tell you where you wanna drop off these metals. Now in this case here, we wanna unload the resources here. It's getting quite full. So we're actually gonna build which you are going to chew through metals. We're just going to build a second one, not a problem. And that means that it will drop in that vicinity. All right, we've got all these, but we also bought a couple of prefabs. So one of the things we want to look at um, is our power. Power's doing okay. It's positive, but remembering it is daytime and we've got our solar panels up. So you need to keep the idea, but looking at your stored power, you can see that it's actually uh, storing that. Oxygen is fine. Uh, production in one. Water production is one, but the demand is one. So we are hurting a little bit on, on water. Um, we do have another uh, water here, so we can actually run the pipe over. Looking a little bit crowded, but we can space that out. Um, the second one is we also have a prefab um, vapor, vaporizer, and I don't want to do that just yet, um, but we will keep that um, uh, in mind for a little bit later. Um, what I do want to do um, is start working on fuel. So, fuel. Uh, what do we got for fuel? Fuel, I think, is a prefab. No. Ah, there's your fuel refinery. It is a prefab, um, and it takes water. So as soon as we actually build this fuel, we're actually going to start running out of um, um, water because we need the water. I think it's actually consuming the water is actually here at the moment. So it's consuming 15 power, one oxygen, and one water today. Uh, so we are going to have to focus a little bit on, on the water. The next thing that we actually have, um, just rotating the map itself, you can see 
these also charge the drones and the drones actually flashing yellow means that their power is running short um, so there's a neat little uh, in your build, build menu when you go to your infrastructure you see recharge stations now they use um, consumption is a little bit of power um, um, but what they allow you to do is just place around the area a couple of these little recharge stations and it means the drones don't have to travel all the way back to the drone hub to actually get recharged they can use a local recharge station but you know what um, that has probably been um, enough for the episode one um, I'm definitely going to do a couple of more I'll break it up a, a little bit I hope you've enjoyed it don't forget to hit the likes um, or the subscribe I'd like to see you if you'd like to see more of surviving Mars or anything else that I do on let's play uh, or tutorials and uh, episodes so we will continue with the um, uh, with the surviving Mars um, we will bring down the fuel we will then do uh, bringing the first lot of uh, humanoids or founding the founders uh, to the planet um, and uh, we'll continue our journey on surviving Mars so thank you very much uh, thank you again to Paradox in Interactive for the uh, for the uh, the key uh, in this pre-release so have fun enjoy and uh, good luck in surviving Mars